Thank you, Rabbeinu Shalom. Thank you, Rabbi Yisuf Yafi. Thank you, Kala Loshin. Thank you, Kavish Kachal Pratis. Thank you for any time. It's a pleasure to be here today and talk to Klal Yisrael. Be maschazik and a moon and betachin. Biggest schus in the world, the moon and betachin. For shvuos, the biggest rotsin. Best thing is before shvuos. Big ace rotsin. Big ace rotsin. I got a message. Somebody heard one of my questions. And they asked, somebody had to do, they were divorced or they had seen a shidduch and they felt this was their zivug and they felt the neshama hain and the neshama hair and they were, they were knocking together and maybe, now the new one, maybe that's not quite which my shidduch and neshama is. There are whole chishbainas like that. The guy told me that I helped him till Shemayim. I says, what? You're getting involved? And if it's you, and this is a sign that this is my shidduch, a sign that it's that shidduch, you marry who you like. Don't get it. You're looking for all the mitzimanim. Now, I do know some tragedies, big time tragedies, the people went across, well, you make the gematrius both names. That's a shidduch. You know, you make, all right, you know, the, this one, it's a simon. Uh, as soon as I saw, I felt something. I mean, if you felt that you liked the person, that's, you're, you're, you're one of my friends. But if you felt that it was that day you punk finished the mesechta, and that's a sign, and her name was at the end, the end of the Masech, the punk had her name over there. <laughs> so I, I, I made a joke out of this. And I says, in Avadik, they said, you're looking up to the, um, you know, you ever see someone's looking up in a telescope and he sees, he sees, uh, and he's falling in a ditch. He's too busy looking in the stars. What's the matter with you? So I said, you marry who you like. Don't give me this old baloney. I don't want to hear of it. Marry who you like. That's for you. And don't bother me. I bother. You check it out. And see what they say. You know, don't beat them all. I got a feedback from a bacha. I saved his life. Because that's what he does. He's heavy into this. This is a sign. This is... Simon, simon, sign. If you like her, it's a simon. It's yours. I mean, check her out. It works out good. Then get it. And about the, the first time I came there, Rabbi Yisrael told me every other word I said. This is nervin. This is nervin. 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 It's a sign. Boy, I have people coming to me. I once did something and I'm getting paid back till today because I once said something what are you drinking a cup I said this I said that the latest king cup you did good you did, you did something wrong do you but after you did you what, what, what are you sitting on it what is it the guilt well I have guilt Dear Rahman al Islam, psychologically, people lose, they can lose a parent and feel guilty. Maybe they're little kids and they're guilty. Does it make any sense? It's not. All these things have no mocker and seichel and people feel I caused because I have this muzzle. Now, what I do with that stuff is I go to war against that Mishagas. And I go extreme opposite. That's a sign that I'm a tzaddik. How did that happen? It's the opposite of Yeh Tahara. It's already, for that alone, you're a tzaddik. Forget about if you're really a tzaddik or not. 
the fact that it's the opposite of the the sick Yetzirah of putting himself in the garbage can, which people thrive on. They, they feel good about it, deep down. They feel... I don't want to chas v'shalom compare. We'll have, uh, there's a picture. Achalmini yamach shemoy mezichrei. Chalmini, you heard of him? Chalmini yamach shemoy, they used to call him Haman. Chalmini was coming down the plane to get one of his chavra. Dressed in full regalia, what is it called? In his robes and his turban, whatever he wore there. And his beard, oh, the beard. He should have shaved off that beard a long time ago. Because to be such a Russia Marusha, it takes a beard. Because he's hiding behind a Chabad He looks, I'm telling you, Khomeini would pass for the best it ever. Do you know what he looked like? Khomeini? How did us part him? I remember when Rav, Rav, Rav Kinnarik, that's all. When he was in the old city of Yerushalayim, he saw these, you know, <laughs> Armenians, that these, these religious figures from all kinds of countries with their robes. <laughs> you know what a robe does to you? A robe. And a special hat, a turban. Whatever it is, come inside. Machzal Shemesh, come inside. Wearing, and this abod mit, and the guy next to him also looks like, and they look like they, they look like they're holy, holy people. <laughs> A hole in your head, Nebuch. That's they look so holy. Do you know that? There's an Arab who wrote a letter to me. Rabbi Yisro may still have a copy of the letter. He wrote a letter. By the way, I am being observed by Arabs. Better watch what I'm saying. I bet I'm being observed. Like this Arab wrote a letter. Rabbi Mendel. By the way, he holds. I'm the best guy. This Arab. He's a half Christian, half Muslim. I got something. He wrote that first thing is he hates religion. He hates religion with a passion. You got to live in Iran and see what people do. You know, they used to have a military street. Iran and Iraq had a 10-year war. They checked 100,000 for no reason, for silly. There was, in the middle of the street, you had blood, fake blood. It was like, instead of a fountain to decorate, you know, the park, they had it, they, they colored the water red and spread it out. Everybody should pass by. You give your blood for your country. I saw a picture in that book of one of these Iranians, Nabuch, ah, a father with his turban and his beard, and his son, Nabuch, he lost his eyes. Shemirach. Came back from the war, lost his eyes, and his father was begging, he wants to give the son his eyes. Nabuch. But they did people cruelty in the name of religion. But they melt. So this guy, the from, the non from guys don't do that. It, you got to be from to do that stuff. You got to be a real medactic in Elam. I don't know what they do exactly. The ones who are the real from fundamentalists, they call no. They, and this guy hates this Arab who wrote me a letter. Remember the Arab? He wrote, he hates religion. He doesn't want to hear of any religion. Religion to him is it's a Shrek. He's not the first one that I heard this about. They can't say religion. But me, he likes. He likes, I'm the answer to all the problems of the world. He said he likes me. And the best thing he likes about me is my sense of humor. He holds up funny. So I was very honored. And he bought an extra phone? No, he bought, he donated something. So religion, ah, a yidl at the chadakeh nayam. The coming Arab shvuas. What do you do with shvuas? You go around, look, the mashkiach Reb Nassim. On shvuas, he was learning nonstop. Reb Nassim held that every minute, held, that's what he is, that's the, the Daniel on Talmud Torah. Learn every second you can, and he's right. 
I just said this on one of those things. I says, you know, the people that hear Shmuzin, there's a Maisa with Rav Neich Weinberg. A winner, the story's a classic. This guy has a family that one is, I don't want to describe who's from, who's not from, who's, 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 who's a Meshumit and who's a Ahabiyid and Ahab. He's got a mess from out to top and he can't think straight. And this Chabusatom, not well then. And the guy didn't have a head on his head. He, he couldn't even think straight. And he, he took him and he, he shook him up. He says, What are you doing to me? Now, you can't do that to everybody. Now, Flaudin, Nain, but Ladin, but that's not good. Now, there are people that should hear that. It's us. The Hayim. Some people, believe me, my first love is Abaya and Rava. And I recommend, I don't want to say before Musa, because I don't want to, I have to stick to my Musa here. But it's not pushing. Sit and learn. Oh, just learn and learn and learn. You schmuck. Nothing like learning Tata. But I just heard about a guy. He's finishing Shas and he's killing his wife. I just heard the details. He's all depressed. Oh, yeah. Go over the matzah. He's, he's Shrekless depressed with his Shas together. And my entire friend. You have to become a Baal Musa, but you don't have the Chinuch. Look at, look at yourself, you, you shots. You, it's not working. To do what the Ibishta wants you to do. You know, there are people that are supposed to be Zvulans, and they're not. I don't want to get involved too much in that. I'm a liquid. You have to watch what you're saying. But a Zvulan is not a Pasha de Zach. You're a mensch that belongs with a Zvulan. And you're not supposed to say that to young people, especially. You'll wipe out the whole Torah system. Because they're going to run to close the Gemara. Then you come by about to me. It's, there, it's not a mal. You have to hear for years. Just learn Torah. It's just, and you can hear it at any stage of your life. I heard once the truth from my kill, the way you spoke like narrow. I love that. No, learn it. What's up? Learn and watch. And it's true. The best way you want to work on something for Shavuos Look at look, work on staging and learning. You know what the Mashkir Khamnasa said before all the Abaid would kill him. You know what you do on on on, on Elo? Take a Khabrus and Steig. There's no suffix. There's nothing like it. Forget about Ruchnias. Just the way you feel. What's sweeter than staging and learning? Come on. And if you think you'll become a godl, there's a place for that. Rab, I just saw a Rabbah Ban Kedushin. He says such a zach. Every father should raise his, raise his kid to be a god of a third. But what happens later? Okay, now, we're talking about those that it's not good for them to hear that. So they can't hear it. They're not allowed to hear it. No, sir. Some people, it's a sin when you tell them that. Like this, my sir, Ramayich Weinberg. The guy almost killed him. Because he was, you can't say that to me. Gay lion. The guy's cracking up. He can't even doesn't see straight and he can't figure out a taste to save his brain save his life and you tell him you just can't do that he has to has it he has something else he has to do what once said if it makes you happy and gives you chiyas and simcha that's your right there do what makes you happy i was once trying to be with a big Bikiyas program, I learned the same dot five times a day with different Chavrusas also yet. Short Sdurim. I was chazering this thing because, and I had it all figured out. And the guys are watching me. He said, Mandel, pretty soon, you know, there's a mental hospital over there, not down the road. Said, what do you, but, 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 I'm Shtagi here. It's not for you. It's not for you. Learn Eon. That's not, that's, it wasn't for me, whatever it was. And it made so much sense, and I was so, someone brainwashed me to do it. And I was so, it's not for you. You do what's good now before. Shvuas, Anarchi Hashem Ali Kecha, David spoke to Yachid. Each person is a world by himself. And each person has his own chilek and terror. There's 12 Shvatim that went out of Mitzrayim. Come inside, Rabbi Sai. 
Jack is, you know, nobody noticed that Jack is Shane Bottle. Petrani from Jack. The the godless of Jack is he had a cute name. I'll say it often. Since Jack Daniels company never gave me anything for all that extensive advertising. What I did do for Jack Daniels. I didn't get one thank you. I was expecting a fat check. Mandel. You know how many people are buying Jack because of you? I didn't hear one word. So it's cooked them. There's no jacks on the table, all right? No, no jacks, no johnnies. Punk, I like this much better. Spirit of kissed caramel. I had somebody here who came here a special trip. He had to speak to me. And I gave him some minutes. He liked it. He took a picture of it because he wants to buy it. See, this is good stuff because it's sweet. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm not from the Naya Dora where everything has to be dry. I can't look at them. But look, everybody's... The belt says, everybody's entitled to his own ridiculous taste. <laughs> everybody's entitled to sein, ich bin am Azazot Meshigene. You're Azazot Meshigene. Anybody, I once spoke to one of the biggest Rabbanim in Lakewood, way back, 30 years ago, and we both decided, anybody who thinks he's normal, and this door, yesh, lived like Acharab, you okay? You know, chap, the matzah that people are a little bit, you know, you know, chap. You ever see the coats that are left over at the end? Anywhere, not religious play, not from play, any, go anywhere in the world. And you will find thousands of expensive coats at the end of the season that the guy forgot. Oh, I forgot. Oh, you forgot. You know how much money you paid for that coat? And it used to be, go, you know, I think Archa Shulcha mentioned you find some rubbers, you'll have to take it. You know that? This is such a did because it's like, you know, people are mocked, but it doesn't cost much. And I lost money, you'll get mine, I'll get yours. This is a job luck. Check it out. So I tied it today, these $500 coats, you got my $500, which I wore only twice, and then I lost it as usual. And I came home, my wife is, you know, you lost it again. So, Anybody, all the whole country, don't feel bad. No, I was once watching, there's a certain Muhammad that when I see him looking for his car, this is what he looks like. He goes out all the time. He's a very reasonable Adam Choshev. Tom Chochem, he's a, it's a big name. And every time he, he goes, he has his, he has his thing over there, a key over there. He goes around and he starts looking. It, it, oh, uh, oh, my hat. He, he, he's like, he always looks somewhat like, you know, oh, and, and whatever, whatever I see him, I see, and he's, he's all embarrassed. And I thought, you don't know what you just did for me. I thought I was the only guy. You're just like me. In fact, do you know anybody that's not like that? Okay, let's say you find your car, or you find your hat, <laughs> you know, I was once in this Radish Shul in, 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 uh, in Barn Park. And I left my hat there. I never saw it again. So the shamans told me, I'm, he, he predicted, you know what happened to your hat? Somebody went ahead, took it. I it has my name. It's not a problem. He put, took it. Yeah, it's my hat. And he'll never know it, 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 it's not his hat. I'd say, if you're muff, he'll be wearing my hat. I'll never take a peek. Oh, someone else's name. Because the people, as this is going back 40 years ago, and people hobbled them all, you know. That, and even then, the shaman, they, he knows the score. They do this all the time. You lost your hat? Say goodbye. And the guy who got it doesn't even know it's not his own. He doesn't even know he took yours. He got it there in two weeks. Right? He's going to bring it back and forget it there again. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> As a, that's the belt today. You can't. Don't expect yourself to be. That comes there with Shavuos. You have to go like the Mashkiach. Every minute he was learning. Bit will tell you. Bit will tell you. Now look. I used to do that. You know. I, I'm going to get a lot of schar. I'm one of those. But I mean. I have, I'm potentially one of those. To say I'm still there. I'm not so fast. But I used to do that type of stuff. Shavuos. To some degree. I wasn't so extreme. I'd have my cheesecake. No, I'm sorry. 
I wasn't a mashkiach. Mashkiach, he said, don't take a double on Rosh Hashanah. How can you take a double on Rosh Hashanah? I still have trouble with that. But I don't want to say anything. I don't know, I'm not agreeing. Whoever's holding by the mashkiach, go for it. No doubles. I hope you're a teep in the sugya somewhere. Like in the Vardic, Rabbi Weinkran said, they eat musa for breakfast. Seriously. And, and they felt full. You have to know who these people Okay. So it might have nothing. So whoever could do it out of the number. Don't, no, don't, don't take doubles. I will tell you, at a certain point on Rosh Hashanah, I took triples. And I had, I got Chazal behind me. Ezra! He got a, I, I, I hold Bishitas Ezra, Ezra was the God of Ador. The God of Ador said, Go take that Coke, that Pepsi, and drink. And get that, your wife's Hungarian steak, and eat. It's a Pasik. That's Rosh Hashanah, according to Ezra, according to Shulchan Aruch. And then, of course, then you got the tour. Put on white clothes. Look happy. White clothes, that's just a mini. Gazay. But he happy. No black clothes going to court. No, no, no. This, that's Rosh Hashanah. Now, I'm going to, I'm sure you're going to get all stressed. I'm sure I'm going to be so happy. I'm going to be dancing and singing like a Meshuggah. I tiny. Show the ages to how much your love is Taylor. Crack a good joke. Come and show us. Crack a good joke. Learn a good Tysus too. Don't hurt. Good Tysus. Learn a good Shmaka Rambam. Mach Freyla. Show us. Get all the Blimalach. See them are good at this. The Hasid group, I'm one of them. I hope Dale doesn't mind, but I'm Hasidic guy in disguise. I ended up with all these Litvakis, but in my heart, I'm one of those. I hope the other doesn't mind. I hope you can handle it. You don't mind if I joke around, do you? I went. To, I, was, I took my class to a seizure place. I take them every year. And they had a whole group and a place they're dancing. As soon as I walked in, you see so many seedish guys. You know, and I say, I tell them, what do I do with these Litvakis over here? Nebuchadnezzar. Let's get them to dance. The guys are on the floor. I was kidding around. You're allowed to joke. No? You know who did this? From David Shalvechik. You can see, you can see it. It's a little movie over there. Somebody went over to him. I'll see the Shirev went over to him. And he told him, let's the Durham get together and make a whole whatever else, the Corona. Remember, you saw that thing? And he said, he says, you asking me a Litvak like me? The Litvakas are off the wall. I, I saw him. He didn't say that, Russian. But he, in so many words, in so many words, he said, I'll let them see them. You, you go for it. I'm behind you. <laughs> so, Thomas Oliveira, he's lying a kid around. So, you know, I pick up my jokes. By the way, jokes, watch out. You want to turn into a cow as long as you make funny? I have big Rob who enjoy me. Uh, you know who loves me? Or Sir Bottom. He once told me, Whenever he gets depressed, he turns me on. And I always cheer him up. And he said, you're even funnier than me, Rabbi Mendel. And I said, it's not true. You're funnier than me. We are crossfire. We're fighting cats and dogs. No, you're funnier. Uh, we are still not on speaking terms. I'm joking. You heard this joke. It's Chazorah. Anyway. So, you tell the Abish how happy I told my class today what it is to be a Yid. How happy you have to be a good now. Kinna type of COVID. You know what Rus gave up? She gave up Kinna type of COVID. She, that's the meanest. What did she give up in the Psukim? She gave up all those rotten meanest COVID, a princess, Olive, and to, to be like a Chikhapayanik. You know, that is the Nemushes. You know, the last guys that come. She was one of the Nebuchs. She became an official Nebuch. Gave away COVID and Taiba. Oh, she was a, a princess, you know. And what she gave away, 
Okay, boy, now they asked the Navar. People don't understand these things. They asked an old Navarga who hated Erlam Hazar. Navargas were very good at making fun of Erlam Hazar. They were unbelievable. He used to roll and laugh, watch everybody. Oh, he has a steak. <laughs> they used to roll. They didn't need it. We can't do it. Uh, not so fast. But but anyway, this Navarga, a house. Oh, very nice. Now they make a joke. Oh, everyone should see. Yes, that would be nice for everyone to see. Oh, you can't get into my house so fast. First you go, hmm. I went to a to a foreign country. It wasn't a liquid pond. I was collecting until uh, you got to the house. Like You didn't need secretaries. You had to press one button, this door opened. Now, you're not finished. Another one. There was a whole chasana until you got to the main doors, which looked like these barricades. To go to see this gvir with some money. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, to see you? Shemayna <laughs> Begadam. Who are you? <laughs> Why are you hurt you? What do you want? What do you, oh, you have money? So, I need you. I'm, anybody, anyway, no, they're nice people. I, I like beer, by the way. I love them all. I told you. I went, a guy gave me a thousand, five thousand dollars, I think it was. At least a thousand. He gave me a lot of money. And I had just spoken about, I see a gvir next to me. I don't, I don't get near him. I says, Avish, I'm going to you. And I always get the money. I have gvir, good friends of mine. I know he's, he's an easy thousand. No. I already decided I'm not asking nobody. So this guy, he gave me the, he, he sent it into um, the guy who prints my stuff. And then he calls me up and he says, Mandela gave you this money. But do me one favor. If you see me in shul, please don't ignore me just because I'm a gvir. <laughs> he doesn't want to be treated second, second day because he's a gvir. I, said, I didn't mean anything. Anyway. But, but yeah, but the Vatican, they laugh, all these, these silly, Erlam Haza, dress up, Hasana, covered, 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 covered. That's, they sit on that. <laughs> he looks like a, he's, look at him, look at his beard. He's one of those, he's one of those. He's so depressed, you don't even know. But here's the story. So they asked this old Navardiga to describe a bitl of Elam Haza, and he was known for that, and he refused. He says, I'm just not getting involved in that. And they begged him, this is the old, old Navardiga, this is not recent, this is back in Europe. And they asked him again and again. Finally, a half hour of begging him, he finally said, do you want me to sit down with you, Hebra, and t- and sit around and make a whole vod of my opinions of a of a toilet bowl? That's what he said. It's a true story. You want me to get involved in that? See, they understood the fallacy of COVID especially. They understood how waste, wasted energy every move you make. What does he think? It's so ludicrous. It's so there's so much fear because everybody, Rus, gave away a covet. She gave away a tibus and a covet. And she looked what she got because she gave it all up. But I want to tell you, she, there was a very big draw in the army. It wasn't so pushy. Nami means sweet. It, you don't, you give it up because you have a gishmak in learning, you know. You have to learn, you have to work hard on, 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 the positive side. Anyway, so I was speaking to my Tomido. What guy? Do you know what a guy is? Do you hop? You, you know the mice with the gorilla, the silverback in Cincinnati? You know what a silverback gorilla could do? He had a little baby. You know, he's about to take the baby. And you know, oh, how's this cute baby? He gives one kvetch and he could crush He's, he's super dangerous. This guy, has, his grip is so. To, so the jail warden shot him dead to save the baby's life. So he, that zoo, got one hundred thousand signatures <coughs> condemning the jail warden. How dare you kill that silverback gorilla? Did you have? You know how crazy people are. 
You have a Muslim, what's going on? I, I, I met a Chabatska guy today. I, I don't like to talk about this, but at least, I don't like to talk about it. I have a reason for it. But at least I'll hint to it. I don't want to get to too much details. But, do you know, I met him today, a sweet. He used to be my Talmud, a tzaddik. And he, he's bringing his kid to my school. He's, and he told me, I, and he works on a college campus in Atlantic City. You know what he tells me? He says, these days it's not easy. Why? Well, there are all those around that they're not quite sure. Are you a boy or a girl? You know what's going on? Now, he has a strict policy. He deals with the boys. And his wife deals with the, the ladies. That's the way I've made up. It works beautiful. And he's Makar. He does a belt of work for years. He's doing beautiful things. All right, that's a hard life a little bit. And uh, with his Simcha level, all those who go out are super happy. It's that's push it. Because they have a mission. He says, my five-year-old had a little kid. My five-year-old is it being Makar of everybody. He shows other little kids what that's Mukta. On Shabbos, you can't touch it. A little five-year-old booby, they train them when they're kids. You have to be makar. You have to care for other people. Imagine. Ah. Anyway, so then I asked them a question. Those that are not quite sure. The Ezra's Andragonus. <laughs> you know? Ezra's Andragonus. What? Who works with them? You or your wife? <laughs> he started laughing. You know what a guy is? You imagine such a thing? And the kids are confused. They're not sure themselves. Where are we holding on that? They're not sure. You know what a guy is? All right, that's extreme. You know, it, forget about it. I have a neighbor over here. I, I told you about the cats. 52 cats my neighbor has. She has a special house for the cats. And when one of her cats died, she was terribly depressed. And she was, she ran over, Rabbi Mandel, my cat died. So she once gave me her dog to pray for. Her dog was already, had Yenna Machla. <laughs> See, she gave me, please pray for my dog. So what's your dog's name? So, why, the dog's name is Wanit. Okay, what's his mother's name? <laughs> a hotel. You have a mercy. Rabbi Mendel, will I ever see my cat again? I promise you. This nobody can tell me. Well, now Rabbi Mendel, I promise you, I wish I had died instead of my cat. You ever hear such a thing? This is my neighbor right next door. But, but this, you don't have to look far. This an old woman, she gives a life away for her dogs and her cats. She's got a dog. You don't want to get near him because he's so dangerous. I got to tell you something. I'm going to deviate a little bit. That dog, she's got a vicious dog, a very, very vicious dog, a real, a real like, a, that dog doesn't get near anybody except for her because she likes the dog. It's not push it. Not push it. <clears throat> By a hunter, I'm talking to Havdel. People, you want to work in Abbas Yisrael. Change your thoughts. The people you're afraid of, say, I love that guy. Just think. Don't say nothing. I'm not afraid. For you may have to say, I'm not afraid. Or I love. Sometimes you're not ready to love. You're so paralyzed with fear. How are you going to love somebody who you're so petrified of? This Rosh Hashivah. Halavayat Yer Shemayim, like you're afraid of this Rosh Hashivah. So you have to, but you think, and those thoughts go a long way. In fact, this from Slabotka, I know to Rav Hutna used to be very involved in compliments, but I knew another Slabotka branch, they didn't do that. You felt the respect they had for you, they, because their mind was full of, I know one of them, he's a Mashkir today, the tired younger man. He's a, from the Chavetz Chaim, a Ziskite. He doesn't say nothing, but you feel it because they're working on their midas. As they see you, they, they think about you in a positive, 
I love this guy. That's all you got to do. The guy that you hate, Rosh Hashanah. In the Vah, they, they pick the guy that you don't like. You want to hear my latest? Years ago, I once had a guy that um, used to read my Betachem Weekly. And he loved it to pieces. My Betachem Weekly was not shy. Saved his life. Then he decided he got someone else. Um, so he does he, he still likes me, but you know, he's reading an, another one who's my type. And he, uh, whenever he sees me, he tells me so and so is Givaldi. He never stops with that. He's always telling me how get, great the other guy is. So my Enoch Shabbos is to meet him and ask him more about the guy that he loves. Because I'm a Navardiga. Navardigas love that. How's he doing? The, the other guy, the guy from the other yeshiva, you know, the competitive yeshiva. How's he doing? I'm so, that's so nice to hear that. That's my end Shabbos. And Avardi, more than your wife's charm, is, is, um, to, to rave over the, the competitor. He's such a tight man. Competitor, there's a miser. All right. What's a competitor? Yeah, we're all working together. So now, Shavuos. This is an Eisra time. You can be Zaycha to anything. You gotta do Tshuva now. Shavuos. It's called Shavuos. It's called weeks. What's weeks? So I want to tie it. It's a riot. It's a leading up to Shavuos. That's the Ikka. And our religion is Rachman and Liba boy. It's on the way to the base Medrash. It's the Ratzain. Why is it called weeks? Because the weeks before Shavuos, what's going on here? Well, what does weeks have? That's just the Heksha. The Heksha is everything. The Ratsa, the wanting to do is everything. It's so hard work. I'm heavy into this. I have a choice. What to, what to, to thank about every day. I can even thank of what I'm accomplishing. I can even thank of what I'd like to do. And I spend as much time as I can. I'd like to do that. I'd like to do this. Because I want to hammer it into me that Rahman Aliba by people don't believe in that. They don't believe in success. He made it. I spend as much as I can. I want it. My success, all right, I'll talk about that too. But mainly, because you need that from Tsaira Agra, nobody believes in. If, if it goes hard, nobody believes in that. Yes, and I, you have to hold from it. Because uh Dake Nayim. If a guy has a hard time with learning. He's on top of the world. He has a hard time in anything, in any area. I want to tell you something about Betochen. Rab Chatzkel speaks about Betochen and Ruchnius. He says, if you have a person that's going in darkness, and he has no Hatzlochen, not in learning, not in Tefillah, nothing, and he keeps moving, that's the real Yeresh Yomai. He reads it into a Chazal. Rab Chatzkel should say that. He was the most din, like, you know. That's the real Yeresh mind. So he keeps moving. No atzlacha. You're not learning. You're not davening. But you're still by teach by Hashem. That's the real Yeresh mind. Rabchatzko. He was din. I heard this from, from Baran Christ. Rabchatzko is giving din. <laughs> no one ever saw him smile. Not so fast. He, he was, he was, he munned from himself. Somebody once bought a beautiful house and he got a lot of money and a lot of this because he wanted to be able to learn for many years. And Rav Chatzkel said, no, that's what you're doing. That's, that's your, uh, say, what's haste? So it's like, alles bechoven. So it's like, alles kind of learning. So it's alles bechoven. So he's for everything. I said, what do you mean? I'm doing this to learn. So I had a nice car, a nice this, a nice that, a nice that, a rich schwer, with a rich and, and some extra money here, and some extra that, and a bank account there, and this. It's also proven, because then we have to. So Abkhazko looks at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ich weiss. Ich weiss. He was tough. Abkhazko was tough. I don't know if 
we could handle Reb Chatzkel these days. It wasn't Pasha. But he still said this. Reb Chatzkel should say this. What I say, I don't look down on nobody. Rashita, you know what's going on by Yana. When I see a guy with a fancy house, I say I have no suffix. His wife is on medication. No suffix. She's on medication. Leave her alone. I see a fancy guy with an axe. He's probably shrach and learning. So at least let him have a nice... No, at least let him have... Altman Kellum tells a story of a guy who had two sons. One he gave a steak. One he gave beans. They said, what are you doing? He says, the guy with beans, legs are learning. You don't need no steak. The guy with the steak, he's a lentil going, he's low, I'm not steak. So that's the way I look at it. Why, why shouldn't the guy... There's a mice that is, if you take the Teichach and ask Reb Chaim Kinevsky, if, um, there, some people hold it's a schooler. Some people, there's different sheets that's about the Teichach. Somebody, so somebody asked Reb Chaim Kinevsky, should I take the, the aliyah of the Teichach? Chaim said, should I finish? Why not? It's because, nah, it's a kind of the fascist. Why? I know someone who once did it, and guess what happened? Uh oh, what happened here? Guy got the teichicha. A week later, his, his uncle or his aunt lost all his money. Well, they, 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 no, they were nifta. And they left him all the money. They got to Yerusha. And since he had all the money, he dropped his learning, went into business. And he's a big vest. Because nefesh. Don't get involved in the teichicha. You're going to get clothes from both sides. So, <laughs> you know what I do with your bar leave? Somebody asked him, should I buy this new Lexus? People, I'm afraid of Ayn Hara. He says, you'll learn, you'll learn, uh, you have a share and you'll learn a black Gemara. No, don't worry. No one's a of you. <laughs> you'll learn Milana and you'll learn you're a different person anyway. By the way, the last time I made fun of Gvirim, I promise you, I was very, I was terrible. I was showered with money. I still have a thousand dollar check from that. I got 2,000 on the spot. They started writing. There's a whole bunch of chsid that you They know. They, they, uh, <laughs> yeah. this, this guy told me he's crazy with me. See that you guy. He says, from Mandel, I'm watching you for years. 200 of, of your, I, I heard you 200 times. I must meet you and I love you. Get ready, I'm gonna kiss you from head to toe. Don't be, better get ready, I'm coming over to see you. I says, you don't have to give me head to toe, just write a fat check. Although you know, upon I up, I told him, you know, that's, that's no problem. <laughs> okay, anyway. But, but the, um, but the Emma said,